Well hi this is Stephen again and um, since my last video about how to make a self-watering plant of my recycled bottle um, which was a year ago um, I've had 19,300 views up until yesterday but one of the most common questions people message me to ask is which plastic is safe and whilst I should have included that on the video and I didn't I'm putting that right now to show you exactly what you should and shouldn't do. Well, most countries have plastic bottles with the resin code on the bottom. I can't think of many countries that don't, but you'll have a code at the bottom that looks a little bit like this. Now, each triangle contains a number and the numbers represent the examples of uses and the name of the polymer and you can actually download this resin guide uh, which has got both that columns of information and a picture of their uses from the description of this video just to make it easy for you and whilst I guess it's pretty safe well it will be safe to grow anything in any plastic bottle if it's for decoration like flowers etc you might want to take a bit more care if you're going to grow things for food for consumption like herbs or whatever now we know that plastic bottles can be great for growing things on your windowsill and it's space saving um, self watering as like my last video um, but there it can be confusing to identify the plastic numbers that's why you need that sheet now if, this is my granddaughter's little drinks bottle now, if you look at the bottom of that one, you'll see a number one in the triangle. And really, that doesn't tell you much, but on this sheet, it will tell you it's a PET, P-E-T-E, -E, and basically, that's polyethylene. And it is typical for fizzy drinks, water bottles, salad trays. You do find them in other things as well. For example, this like plastic soap bottle on the bottom. There's also a number one on there. So it's a food grade plastic. So anything really with a number one on, you can safely use. But there are other ones as well. So again, look at the sheet and decide which ones are suitable for the bottles that you've saved up. And as a guide, I would say, now number one is a PET, as I said to you before, P-E-T-E. -E. Number two is an H-D-P-E. That's a high density polypropylene. Um, number four is an LDPE, which is a low density polypropylene, and number six, which is a propylene. Now, this yogurt pot, for example, is a food grade quality, and you can see on the bottom there the triangle has got the number six in it, and that is also safe to use. So, really, we're looking at one, two, four, and six. Now, if you're going to use three, five, or seven to grow your food, which is polyvinyl chloride, um, polypropylene and other plastics which is polycarbonate polylactic that sort of stuff you'll probably be okay too but if you are concer concerned at all in any way about the chemical leach into the soil which might be taken up by the plants root system and therefore in your food then you need to avoid really three five and seven so um, thanks for that and uh, what I would do is share this video with as many people as possible who you know might be interested in growing their own foods in recycled plastic bottles or they're making self-watering containers and planters just for that very reason. I don't think there'll be any problems but some people would like to have this information to make their own decisions. So look thanks for watching and catch you later. By the way I'll put a link in the video to my self-watering plastic recycled bottle garden.